All right, so uh, what we're going to do here is uh, take this 3 8 aluminum rod, which is uh, part of a Yagi antenna, and need to take a little bit off the end. And uh, what I'm using to do that is a tubing cutter and a uh, cordless drill and some pliers. Uh, I need the pliers to crank down on the tubing cutter because it's a little bit tougher than the uh, copper pipe. So I'll get this aligned to the position that I want to uh, cut it at. Make sure that it's tracking the way I want. It is. And I'll clamp it uh, on a piece of paper towel so it doesn't scratch the countertop into place and chuck it up on the other end into the drill. Now all that's left to do is run it and uh, crank down while it's turning should cut pretty quick. There we go. It's through. Uh, it seems to be the fastest way I've been able to come up with. It's uh, faster, neater, and less effort than a hacksaw. It's uh, a faster, neater, and less effort than a Dremel tool. Uh, the only thing I can think of that might do better is a lathe, because this leaves a little bit of a burr that needs cleaning up. Uh, what I do for that is chuck it up in the drill, take a file and run it over, and uh, get the edges rounded a little bit. But uh, for cutting it to length, this seems to be the go-to method. I think the best time so far is uh, around uh, half a minute to cut through the bar completely. Well, it does a bit of a number on this uh, tubing cutter, but uh, the tubing cutter was very inexpensive, so it's easy enough to replace. All right, uh, welcome to the workshop. Uh, got a number of projects going on here, so excuse the mess. Uh, got the radio going on the local repeater. I'll turn that down so we don't get uh, interrupted. Uh, got cell phone that I'm benchmarking the battery on. Uh, a little gizmo for testing uh, USB power supplies, see uh, how much current they'll uh, pull before they start dropping off up to their rated spec. Uh, uh, got this microphone, that I, cordless microphone I just got that I'm trying out here. Uh, some of the tools and whatnot I've had to get out for this project and a couple others. Uh, pieces, Other pieces of this antenna that are uh, taken apart at the moment. And... Uh, Hopefully all this will get cleaned up uh, by the end of the day as projects wrap up. Uh, to take care of the ends here where the sharp edges are, I uh, got a file, flat file for uh, metal, it's a fine tooth, and the cordless drill again, and a glove to glove and goggles to not get hurt. And uh, we will one at a time check these up and uh, work on taking those sharp edges and getting it into a nice uh, rounded end. Not quite rounded, but uh, at least smooth enough that you can run your finger over it and not get hurt, because this is uh, hopefully going to be a portable antenna, uh, not a uh, not aiming to have it uh, up on a tower or anything. And for this, uh, it seems to work a little bit better to have the speed turned up to the second speed, and then I can uh, vary it. The second speed over on the tubing cutter would uh, make the thing smoke. It was It was a little faster, but it was a little too fast for the cheap bearings in it. Uh, but for this, it seems to work sufficiently well. Also, then I can still vary how fast it goes up uh, with the uh, trigger on the drill, so it doesn't have to be high speed. And we'll give this a go. I also, excuse the microphone, as I said, I just got that, and I'm still messing with the levels. Uh, uh, hopefully it was not too bad on the previous video. I guess it was a little too loud. It's working on it. Got a, still got a bit of a burr, but uh, it's improving. Essentially, I'm doing a rolling type motion here to try and uh, get it uh, 
curved so that it's uh, no sharp spots. It gets a little bit on the warm side as it uh, spins. Got a lot of friction going on there. Another good reason to have gloves. And there we go. That is, uh, doesn't seem to have any sharp spots remaining on it that I can find. That's, that'll about do it. So I've just got to do the other ends and uh, be ready to reassemble. All right, here we are. Uh, got this set up in the bedroom. That's the most out of the way place as far as not being close to uh, uh, metal things, a bunch of other antennas, bicycles, uh, uh, wires, all that stuff. Uh, it can get a few feet away from all those things. And at uh, 70 centimeters, that's a, enough that it doesn't too, make too much of a difference. Uh, for driving the test, I've got a TYT TH8000D. It's a 5 watt, 10 watt handheld. Um, took off its rubber duck and got this uh, running to a uh, Workman uh, VHF UHF SWR meter. So uh, right now it's tuned up on 446.1 megahertz, which is a frequency that I'm interested in using it on. It's also very close to the calling frequency. So uh, begin here by turning this over to set mode and putting 5 watts into it. And uh, there we go. That looks like it's probably... Let me zoom this in so you can see what we're doing here. That looks like it's probably pretty close to the calibration mark. Flip it back and take the SWR. And that looks like it's a 1.2 or so to 1. So I'm very happy with those results. Uh, this is now uh, resonant at the correct frequency I want. And uh, Sorry if that made some static there. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, there we go. Got the antenna made. Uh, well, not made, modified. It was uh, 25 bucks at a ham fest. And uh, went from being a 400 to 420 megahertz antenna. Now it's a 440 ham band antenna. Uh, didn't go too far to push the limits of seeing what it'll do, but... Uh, uh, maybe I can run into some one of the members of the club and uh, run it through a SWR antenna analyzer and see what the whole frequency range it'll cover. That'd be interesting to do. In the meantime, uh, now I have a useful antenna. Uh, one of the other ones I got at the same ham fest was uh, pre-tuned, but it's the same style, a uh, bigger Yagi. So there we are. Uh, lots of good stuff. Hopefully the videos did well with the microphone here. Uh, it's a, I think it's supposed to be a VHF microphone. And uh, this is the first time using it, so lots of good stuff. And hopefully there will be more.